Hi, I'm back again. And if you aren't familiar with me, my name is Dylan. And when I was 22 years old, I was uh, diagnosed uh, with what is now called autism spectrum disorder. And now I make YouTube videos about how autism is uh, currently affecting my life and also videos about uh, topics dealing with autism and, and this video is going to be on a topic that relates to autism and also to uh, some other stuff as well. Uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, what's called person first language. That's where uh, instead of saying autistic person, you say person with autism. We don't say autistic kid, we say kid with autism. Person before diagnosis. So I personally haven't heard anyone uh, tell someone else that they need to use person first language or uh, heard someone correct someone else for not using person first language. And if you watch my past videos, uh, you'll hear me uh, use person first language and uh, uh, also the, the opposite, <clears throat> which uh, is called condition first language or also identity first language. Uh, and, and in some videos, you'll hear me use uh, both types uh, of language. I think the reason why I keep switching between the two uh, is because uh, I, I don't always write down what uh, I'm gonna say in in uh, these videos beforehand. So you know, I I just think think of what I'm gonna say and then say it. So yeah, so. You know, whatever I think of, I, uh, I'll say, and then I'll think of something else, and that it that may might be as uh, slightly different than what I just said, like, or or uh, I don't remember uh, how I said uh, uh, something earlier in the video because I didn't write, write it down. So yeah, so, yeah. so uh, yeah, I, I guess this video is uh, me getting my thoughts in order about first and first language. So from the research that I did, and by research, I mean Googling, uh, yeah, it, it showed that person first language uh, first came about uh, during the, the AIDS crisis in the 1980s when uh, people who were dying uh, from AIDS uh, said they wanted to be called people with AIDS rather than AIDS victims. And I can see why they wouldn't want to be called victims because a, a victim is uh, a person who had something bad happen to them externally, you know, like a, a crime, but not a virus. You know, people don't say flu victims uh, and also the, during the time of me making this video, uh, the whole coronavirus
coronavirus pandemic is going on, but you know, no one has said coronavirus victims. So yeah, yeah, I, I can see why they would want to change it from AIDS victims. Nowadays, person first language is most often uh, associated with mental illness and uh, other disabilities. So for this video, I'll give my thoughts about person first language uh, relating to mental illness, uh, in particular their autism. And, uh, you know, I, I won't talk about uh, it relating to AIDS since I, I don't have AIDS. I think the intentions behind person first language were good, but it hasn't always worked out that well. First, when someone says person with autism, it kind of sounds like your date is named autism and you're with them. Like this person is with autism and they've been dating for a while now. <laughs> yeah, or at least that's the way it sounds to me. I don't know about anyone else. The way person first language is worded is a little problematic uh, when, when you think about it, because you're saying person with autism instead of autistic person. So you're putting a word in between the condition and the person uh, and creating more space but between those those two things which uh, I, I don't think people who use person first language uh, want to do. I think they wanted to uh, have people see the condition and the person connected uh, rather than just seeing the condition. But uh, I think person first language has had the opposite effect. When a person such as myself has autism, it, it becomes a part of that person uh, and their identity. Autism has become a part of me and my identity, for sure. You know, when I was first diagnosed, uh, it felt like an explanation as to why I am the way that I am. The way I, am. I wouldn't be making these uh, YouTube videos if I hadn't have been diagnosed with autism. Yeah, that's for sure. Person first language ex actually sounds like you're taking the, away the autism because it's a negative and then that makes autism look a little shameful. Being autistic can be a description of how a person thinks and sees the world and that that can be a positive so yeah uh, after i think about it and after i did learn more about person first language uh i've come to the conclusion that i well won't use it uh, uh in, in my videos uh, I, I won't say I'll, I'll never use it again because, because you know, m maybe uh, I I might use it uh, j just because it, it would 
make more sense grammarly to use it. But uh, yeah, for, for the most part, I, I won't be using it in, in these videos. Uh, but uh, I'm not gonna berate uh, anyone for using uh, person first language. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I would say that there are, there are a, a lot more important issues. It doesn't really make a difference, right? I mean, he's still autistic. It doesn't change how he is in the world. And how he is in the world can make it hard sometimes. But I would say that language is important because words matter uh, and, and they can have an impact on people. Because even if it sounds good to you, it might not sound good to the other person. And, and uh, you know, th these are just my thoughts and opinions. Uh, uh, other people might like person, person first language and they, they might actually prefer it. So it, it's, you know, up to the person. It, it would be best for people to uh, use the language that the, the other person wants them to use when talking about them. And then it, it would be nice for people to uh, ask politely. That, that would be the best. So there's my thoughts about person first language. And that's going to be it for this video. Uh, until next time, goodbye.